Hello all, I'm Sai and you're watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I'm bringing to you my surprising reads of 2020. I already do have my disappointing reads of 2020 out already. I'll try to link it up in the icon down in the description so that you can check it out if you're interested. Uh, in this book, uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about all the books or the series uh, which I didn't think that I would enjoy this much, but they came out as really awesome surprises for me. So without any further ado, let's get into the list. The first book is The BFG by Roald Dahl. Now this is a children's book which I didn't think that I would enjoy that much when I got into it. Uh, I read this way back in January 2020 and uh, the thing about this book is that there are various giants uh, whose, uh, how to say, job is to just uh, go and catch hold of certain people in order to stop them from uh, doing wrong stuff but there are also very many uh, bad giants who just eat people for the sake of fun and just because they are hungry what happens is there is this uh, one giant called the BFG who's the big friendly giant and uh, uh, he travels through the city one night and the small girl little girl named Sophie she just uh, sees the giant through her window the rule of the giants is that if they let some human being uh, have sight on them, they must uh, abduct the human being and take them with them to the, uh, how to say, place of the giants. So Sophie does get taken up by the BFG and it just happens from there. Uh, how the BFG and Sophie uh, have a lot of adventures from there and uh, what happens to the BFG and where does Sophie end up at last. She is an orphan child who was taken by the giant so there is not many people who care about her in this world. Uh, it was really really awesome in many ways. The ways in which Sophie teaches the giant to do stuff and the things that the giant says uh, and tells to Sophie and how she protects her from the other giants. It was really really few, uh, how to say cute and uh, comfy to read. So if you are uh, looking for a really nice cozy book do try this out and it's also uh, how to say applicable for any age range. I'm sure that if you are a child or an adult you'll just enjoy it to the fullest. Next one in the list is the only classic and it is the second classic which I read this year and it is Little Women by Lose me Alcott. While I got into this book, I didn't think that I will end up liking this as much, mainly because it was a classic, okay? I'm not a person who was that much into classics uh, when 2020 started and it did not end well for me last year also, uh, this year also. So <clears throat> I've uh, tried to go a different way with classics, but this was one classic which I just enjoyed a lot. The best thing which I like about this one is uh, the family setup and the relationships that uh, existed between the four sisters and their mother. It was very 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 uh, relatable to read in many ways. I don't have sisters, I just have an elder brother and uh, I should say that our family is close when it comes to being inside the house and I was able to see a lot of uh, how to say parallels going on between the families that we see in our everyday life and the family that was in this book. It was really really comfy to read and I should say that uh, this is one book which will make you feel happy if you read it during any time of the year and I was very very glad that I read this as my second classic in the year because uh, there weren't that many classics which I read uh, in 2020 but this was one thing uh, which just uh, made me uh, how to say keep it mind uh, keep it in my mind for a longer time time and I'm sure that I will uh, keep on recommending this to many people and I'll also read this sometime uh, very soon in the future the next one is an American marriage by Tayari Jones uh, also I have a review for this book so do check it out if you're interested I'll link all the reviews that are available in my channel in the description so that you can check them out if you're interested uh, this book is about a couple um, who marry and uh, the husband of these two couple he is put into prison for a uh, crime that he committed what happens th uh, is that uh, while the husband is in jail the uh, wife actually develops an affair with another man and that man is someone whom the husband has blessed uh, the wife have known for a very long while and the man was also a very trustworthy person um, <clears throat> what happens is they don't make up uh, a huge scene or anything they just uh, come on mutual grounds and uh, get a divorce what happens after the divorce, uh, how are the lives of both of these people uh, after they split, does it end up in a good note or not, you have to uh, read this note to know that it was really really good in many ways and it just seemed so so practical and real in every way uh, because we do see uh, such things like this happening in our uh, how to say society itself and it just seemed like a reflection of marriages in this uh, current world. It might say that it's an American marriage but I'm sure that uh, most marriages that we see in our world today uh, are in the state and it was a really good experimental book if you ask me. The next one is Pride by Ibizu Boy. Now this is also a book which is the retelling of a classic. The classic that's retold in this book is Pride and Prejudice. Uh, one of the main reasons why I picked this up is because uh, I tried reading Pride and Prejudice and I was not at all able to measure that story in any way and uh, I did not get the point of the story while I was like uh, almost uh, halfway through the book so I didn't update last year and I'm going to try uh, sorry in 2020 and I'm going to try and read it in 2021 let's just uh, hope that I 
read and like it but it was not at all such a case when it comes to this book uh, i picked this up mainly because of the reason that i wanted to know the story of pride and prejudice but not by reading that book uh, so i found that there was a retelling for it and i went forward for uh, to read this it was really small okay uh, the audiobook just runs for like four or five hours max i don't uh, remember properly but i should say uh, the whole time i read this book i was enjoying it to the fullest because it's a very fulfilling book okay uh, the romance in this one is not at all like a main focus uh, that's something which i like because pride and prejudice by itself is a book which is uh focused towards romance right right but uh this one is not in such a way it uh deals with a lot of family stuff that is going on and the stuff between uh, going between two families rather than just a single family i just enjoy, uh, enjoyed reading it the whole time and i there is also one book by ibiza boy which i am planning to read in 2021 which is uh punching the air it's a book written in verse so let's just wait and see if i end up reading that or not the next one is release by patrick ness Now uh the thing about this book is that it was so good that I finished reading it and I was trying to buy a physical copy of of this book for a very long time and uh, one day what happened the hard cover of the book uh, dropped down in price for a great extent so I went forward and ordered it uh the surprise was that uh the book that I received was a signed copy okay it's a hard cover which I received for a very low price as a signed copy so it's very very special for me in many ways uh the story is also really really convincing okay i just like the different concept uh different concepts that the author put together it deals with the story of a gay guy named adam uh he is out but his family is not that much accepting to it um but they do accept their brother who's straight uh he also has a very best friend to him who's a girl and she is the one who understands him to the fullest they are going to part ways uh, because high school is going to be over and they are going to go for different ways when it comes to college uh The story actually takes place within a single day, and all the events that uh, uh, happen in that day are going to change Adam's life and many people's uh, life in a different, uh, how to say, in a very great scale. There is also this other supernatural plotline going on with the ghost, uh, who, which is that of a girl who was uh, killed, and she comes as a ghost now, and she wants to, uh, how to say, take revenge on her murderer. It is really, really interesting in many ways. So, if you're a person who likes um, a very well written contemporary book as well as um super uh, how to say supernatural elements that are tied into a normal story then i'm sure that you will enjoy this and i should say that this was uh, one of the best books which i read in 2020 and i just uh, enjoyed it a lot the next one is the mermaid and mrs hancock by imogen hermes gower now <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite reads of 2020 okay i read it during uh, april or may and it is a huge book okay it was sitting on my shelf for like over one and a half years and i don't know why i did not pick this book for up uh, for a very long time because it's really 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 beautiful in every way if you ask me uh, for the genre that it represents that is historical fiction it's a really great example okay um, the author actually has done a lot of research and it is very much evident from her writing itself the way she describes the stuff it's just so so awesome it happens during the last few uh, years of the 1700s in georgian london so it was just depicted as such okay i just loved it throughout it is about the story of uh, these two people uh, the person named jona hancock um, who is a tradesman and uh, he gets this mummified mermaid one day and he just uh, runs shows with it and uh, earns a lot of money through it uh, the other important character in this one is uh, angelica who is a prostitute and uh, how their lives uh, get intertwined and what is their connection with the mermaid and what is the role of the mermaid in this whole book the title of the book has uh, the na- name of the mermaid in it but i am sure that the mermaid is not the main focus in this one the characters uh, who surround the mermaid are the actual focus throughout and it's a really really good story to read the next one in the list is also a really really unexpected surprise and it is a non fiction book which is this is going to hurt by adam k uh, if you didn't know I read this book in June and I've been raving about it ever since and I've made a lot of uh, people pick this up and read it as well and I'm sure that they all uh, loved it. It is a very satire book, okay, expressing very deep and uh, needed issues in order for people to understand doctors and people working in the medical field in a proper way, okay? I just enjoyed this book a lot. Okay, I read it within, within a single sitting. Uh, the audiobook is like 6 to 7 hours long and I just uh, how to say continuously listen to it. It was so 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 good in every ways. uh um, the difficulties that are ex- uh, how to say experienced by doctors is just put out in a very satire and humorous way uh also in a raw way by the author it's just so so awesome okay uh, and i'm sure that in this list you can see many of the books being repeated in my favorites list also because all the uh, most of the books which i read in 2020 were like um good but the best of the good books uh, were those which came out as very great surprises for me and this is one of those gems which i discovered last year the next one is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. 
uh this was also a book which i didn't expect that i'd uh, end up liking this much i knew that uh while getting into this book itself it is going to be something which i like but by the end uh the way in which the author addressed the issue that's focused on this book was just so so brilliant okay the issue that's discussed in this one is actually anxiety attacks uh for people who have a lot of anxiety attacks due to uh, how to say multiple reasons uh in their life and our uh, main character audrey she has like multiple uh anxiety attacks and panic attacks due to something which happened in her school last year and due to that she's been having kind of like many many anxiety issues right now uh, her anxiety is to such a peak extent that she cannot uh, talk with her own family members for a longer time she that if she cannot talk at all uh, with anyone else outside of her house also uh, eye contact is very much intimate for, for her so she wears sunglasses always as you can see on the cover and she doesn't even take this uh, take that off in her own house when she is around with her family uh, she has to put her glasses on because uh, otherwise her anxiety will just shoot up a lot you can just uh, imagine how much intense this issue is for audrey but the way in which the author delivers this in a sweet sweet way okay i must say uh, the climax of this book it just uh, gave me like very 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 happy tears because you you should read this guys it's not even a big book okay i just finished this one also in a single sitting it was so so awesome if you're looking for re uh, reading a book during a just single afternoon especially during the weekend please go and try this out because uh, it's just so awesome and the way in which this mental health issue has been represented and addressed by the author in this book is just so brilliant next one in this list is dark places by gillian flynn it is totally an opposite story compared to uh, finding audrey by sophie kinsella because it's not at all light in any way okay if you are a light hearted person and doesn't like reading dark uh, gritty gory books then this is not at all a book for you because it's just so awesome okay the first page of this book itself is dang okay you can just see uh, the mood of the book in that first page itself so if you are a person who are interest who is interested in reading this book uh the first page will just show whether uh you'll be able to get it get through it or not i just showed the uh, i read the first page and i was like totally astonished i went on and uh, showed it to my mother and my brother they were like why are you even reading books like this one because it's it was so so violent okay it was so so graphic in many ways uh but i just loved it okay just imagine the first page of a book itself has that much violence put into it the effect that it had on me was like uh an anchor sorry it was like a hook put into a fish and it just pulled me in very very quickly i read this one also very slowly okay because it is so so dark so so gritty okay it's not at all an easy book to read mentally it will be very 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 jarring okay it's not at all an easy book to read but i just loved it okay i personally i love uh, dark gritty stories a lot rather than just soft comfortable stories like uh this one i do like reading these also a lot more uh but it is books like these which just uh, show me the other side of the how to say uh, human character and the human personalities that we don't get to see in most of our lives and i it just uh, gave me such a great experience that's why it made its way into this list the next one is another patrick ness book and it is the rest of us just live here i re uh, read this only in november but believe me this was a book which i did not think at all it will have that much effect on me this also has a representation of a mental health issue uh, which is obsessive compulsive disorder or uh, the thing uh, in which you get uh, stuck in like a number loops within your head by yourself and it's really uh, difficult to break through that loop uh, i could easily see that uh, the person was uh, how to say uh suffering from some obsessive thoughts which just uh, lead to some compulsive be behaviors uh, i do have ocd to some, some extent and i felt like i was uh, represented in some way or the other in this book just like in turtles all the way down uh, i should say that in turtles all the way down that's the main focus of the book there is nothing uh, much going on in it other than that one but in this one uh, it is a really major part of the book it's a major part of the main characters uh issues that he faces and it was just so awesome and i uh enjoyed the entire time okay i did not uh, expect to get a mental health representation put into such a book and it was just amazing to read the last one in this list is not actually a single book it's an entire series okay it is a combination of many series from an uh how to say expansive universe and i'm talking about the shadow hunter chronicles by cassandra clare if you've been following me for quite a while you know how much i love all these books okay I ended up reading 11 books from the same series in a single year which I did not think at all that I would do in 2020 and I ended up doing it it was to such an extent that uh, I made an uh, how to say dedicated uh, playlist for the Shadowhunter Chronicles and I have already like 9 videos out in that list already there will be like two or three more videos coming by the end of the year for sure uh, I think you will enjoy them and <clears throat> I just love this series to such an extent that 
the next uh, book in the series okay the next first book in a series that i'm going to read within this entire universe is going to be my first read of 2021 i have already ordered it and it will be reaching me pretty soon so yeah <laughs> this was like my most uh, huge surprise when it came to 2020 as a surprise and it was just so so awesome to read and if you're a person who likes fantasy uh, how to say uh, uh, urban fantasy and likes reading good relationships i'm sure that this will be a huge treat for you because i just enjoyed it a lot yeah that's it for today if you did enjoy watching today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends if you want to get more content from me do subscribe to the channel because i publish new videos every sunday tuesday thursday and saturday thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day